The Speaker in the House of Commons has a very important job and has done going back hundreds of years. They have to keep order in the house where there might not necessarily be any. And why should Lindsay Hoyle be any different? How do everybody welcome back to the channel last thing on a wednesday hope you're all doing all right your day's gone fine we're about halfway through the week now nearly the weekend once again and father's day is fast approaching well lindsay hoyle mm, i like the man actually uh mind you compared with john burke that doesn't take a lot of improvement does it nasty little horror he was he seems to be uh, a different kettle of fish when it comes to the role of speaker now he said something a day or two ago, uh, which, according to parliamentary code and all the rest of it, might be correct. But I don't give a toss about left, right, and what goes on in that place, because I think that they see themselves as a, an entirely separate entity to the rest of the UK, which, according to legislation, they may be, and they may be sovereign. But at the end of the day, who resides in that house? They were put there by us in a vote at a general election and you do have to wonder about priorities you see lindsay hoyle was spitting feathers uh the day that boris come on and he extended our lockdown by another four weeks he seemed to take exception to the fact that the press and therefore the general public were informed as to what was going on before parliament was this wasn't the first time this happened. It's happened again and again and again. You know, in my view, I find it absolutely proper that the press were called to a conference and therefore the general public were informed first because we're the people that are vastly affected by what goes on there. And I think Lindsay Hoyle spitting his feathers was uh, not really the done thing. Uh, I don't like the way things are prior prioritised. I'm actually quite happy to take a lesson in politics at this point, so if anyone wants to correct me underneath, then please do so. But I think they vitally need to remember how they're there. We put them there, we voted them, and they start to need to get to the part where they treat the British public with a bit more respect and not put themselves first and that house first and the general public second that's what it seems to be to me and the way it's been for years and i think now it really needs to stop and i need to need to take a look at the priorities they represent us at the end of the day and i think it was right that we were told first what was going on let me know what you think and as i said i'm quite open to criticism on this i'm very anti-establishment in my views i'm fed up with a lot of them and I think the way they've behaved has really gone towards inflaming this situation a lot further than it needed to be. Anyway, I'm off now. I'll see you all tomorrow with more videos. This is the Gabby Cabby, signing off. Toodaloo.